we are going to place the sugar, all sugar, into the bowl. If that third deck hits the black dial, the red catches up to the black, just put that thing in there. Salt and even the cinnamon powder. So, all dry except, except for the flour. Okay, guys. This is um, this is in relation to your cutting method. So instead of me, yeah, instead of me just doing another cutting method, I think it's a great opportunity for me to show you, like on an industrial level, so that you know once you guys go to a shop, and they want you to make this many amount of cutting method product. You know, if you don't have yourself doing that and have them look at you in a problem. You know what I mean, guys? So the concept is still the same. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the fat. sugar and spices. Initially I'm going to have it on one just to blend in the, the fat with my sugar and spices. What's true is that at this point in time my fat is still cold. Okay guys? I'm not going to wait too long, all I'm going to do is up the speed so I can really, really smash down my fat with the sugar. Now remember, I don't have my flour here. Everybody with me so far? I don't have my flour. So I'm, going to, oops, I'm going to speed it up so I can make a quick paste. I got it on two. Evelyn, do you want me to do a speed three? Because Evelyn wanted it, we're going to give it. can understand what we are going for. When you touch the lower part of the bowl, you'll find it very cold, okay guys? But at the same time, it would have turned into a very, very quick paste.
guys saw that, right? So usually what we do is then we add the dry ingredient and we are going to leave at least one fourth of the dry ingredient. speed one and we're going to quickly allow the dry and the fat come together and what's going to end up happening is that it's going to look like that time when you guys were doing the cutting method. At this stage it will look something like that. Okay guys? You're going to leave about a quarter of the dry aside. that this is a very loose product and you want it to be loose and then we're going to come back with the pull. I'm going to go ahead and use my hand to break down the fat into what size? You, you'll see how like on a grand scale how that blade is going to really help you. You understand what I'm saying guys? Um, KitchenAid nowadays actually has two apparatus that you know others didn't have. And that is the scraper. It actually comes with an attachment that is the scraper. And also you can get the blade if you ask for it. An extra price, but you can get the for the cutting method or like to make pies, as they say, you can get the blade. And once you have done this, the streusel is ready to go. Okay, guys, this is going to be for your crumb topping for your coffee cake. Got it? Yes. So again, you guys get to do this one time the recipe for the two of you. You can pass that around so you see how quickly that came together.